isn't it interesting to watch crypto market bouncing back up? Isn't it interesting to see Bitcoin breaking through this resistance? Because when you look at the market, right now what you're watching is that people are becoming optimistic again and the market is trying to push through $1.8 trillion. Now, you know there is a lot of different opportunities in the market. You know there is a lot of different things happening in the market right now. But if you do look through them, you kind of get an idea of what the market is showing you, right? We've been following through these. Like when the price was going down, the SI family was well educated about this. What was that? It's a hidden bullish divergence. Like we followed it through, we followed it through. And it's not just like, you know, we followed it through last three, four days. We've been doing that. If we go back five days, if we go back a month, we are following it up. And the way we are understanding that there was a possibility like this where the year may end like this. Mm -hmm. Now, that seems to be the reality. But if you look back at these points where the price is dropping big, not everyone would come out and say that because there is a big possibility that it may drop big to reach $35,000, $38,000. Rather, the price actually went up. Why? This is that reason and that's why i'm seeing you know 900 and plus members are in the sf family taking benefit of all these we are going through a lot of these assets updates one by one breaking it down so that they actually know what the market is about to do now the prior question most of us had was about xrp yeah we are actually going to go there. We're actually going to talk about that because it's actually reaching a huge area which we've been discussing consistently over the last six months. Think about this. You know, when we were here, we are like, okay, if we go up, that's a great thing. But last time this happened, there is a possibility. So from August, when we were breaking through this, we were following it up. What the hell does it look like right now? Welcome to the sign of it investor family where the normal retail guys get learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world just in last two three videos i've been explaining how a price explosion is about to come this is going to be an opportunity to buy right not a lot of people would care when you say that but that's how the market is but if you did you are going to be among the top five, top one person of crypto winners this time around. So before we actually jump in and break down all these charts, please do smash that like button for me. Now, let's start with XRP. If you are actually focusing on XRP, we had this. We broke below, we went back up, that became a fake out. We came back down and then there was like a double bottom kind of thing. First atom you failed, then the second one you went up. Great. Great, it's perfect. Because on that second attempt, what's happening is the market is kind of giving you a mixed signal. Like the MACD was showing you, I'm about to cross back to the downside. Mm. What are you watching right now? Almost accurately looking like that. So I'm like, okay. So if we are to bounce off from here, that is going to wipe the flow for a lot of sellers. The shorting guys who are here in the market thinking like the price is going to test this range break this range go down these guys are just going to become the liquidity for the market the market makers would actually push them out like this boom the price goes above a dollar we start to catch up with all those assets which has been running so when you are looking at bitcoin you know before the recent burst we were discussing in the si family and i was like guys watch this this is a clean chart just my thoughts this is coming, right? A lot of money is about to enter the market. But one thing I see a lot of people pushing in the market is this is going to go for 2024, the entire 2024, then into 2025, then pff, who knows? But do you really think that's the case? If you do look at the monthly chart here, this is a monthly chart, guys. Don't be doubtful. This is a monthly chart. Here, if you are actually looking through this, one thing which I want to reiterate is on a monthly when you get a negative divergence, that is something which you should look at very, very, very high alert level. So you're like, okay, uh -huh, what the hell is this guy talking about? Are we about to drop? 
yeah, we will drop, but when? After this run up, and that's exactly why I'm saying, look at what's happening in the market. The market is about to go up. Now, this one is for the crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin, which means altcoins. Now, why is that? On the Bitcoin, you're already having this signal. The Bitcoin market cap, if you go on a monthly, is literally, now you'll have to go on to all-time index. And you actually see this happening. And you're like, okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Last time, you actually had this divergence developing, right? You had this. But the price did not drop. Uh-huh. Rather, the divergence accelerated, right? It increased the downside. So this time, shouldn't we go up? Yes, we should. Yes, we should. But that's where my point is. But if you do go up and you slow down in this macro range, remember the trend which we discussed in detail. Something like this happening in the market and dropping back wouldn't look good, especially if you go up here and break this. That should actually bring the price much, much, much lower. That should be a carnage. Now, people would ask like, no, 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 this guy's stupid. There's no nothing to back it up. But let me explain. If you go through the actual ideas of what the central bank digital currencies are doing, what these big institutions who are doubling down on this is doing, you'll understand. They're trying to set the stage. And in two years' time, when we look back at this, you will note this. On this New Year Day, we are talking about that. So with that said, Happy New Year to each and everyone who is listening to the SI family. May the God bless you with the most wealth in this market. Now, let's actually look at something. Like when we are going through these macro charts, we also like the emotions, the human part inside us want to know like, okay, what are we really looking at on a macro, right? What are we looking at a short term? Do we really have a possibility that... We may move up soon. Like XRP kind of plays with the emotions a lot, right? Recently, we actually got a bullish candle here. But that did not actually get a continuation signal. Rather, now we came back up. We are trying to do another engulfing candle and then maybe break to the upside. Rate us in bonds. But you haven't actually seen the price doubling down on the bullish side. Booing up, trending higher. On a shorter horizon, we've been consolidating. But then you look at assets like this, say this is Cardano. You're looking at Cardano and it is showing you a signal. It's something which you should note. Like the market is doing something. What is it? It is trending to the upside. So if that breaks to the upside, that means altcoins, it's about to explode. This is that macro pattern. You have done your first leg. You are now at the consolidation. And if you don't get rejected to the downside, that means you're about to go back to the upside. So this is going to be historical levels, which we have to understand. If we do break this range, then you're going to the upside. You may not actually get this. The market is becoming super bullish. So on a monthly, when you're looking at these assets, like, okay, it's taking off. It's actually taking off with a double bottom structure being confirmed. So this is a large cap asset trying to bring FOMO into the market. Most of us would not care when the price is in this range. But when the price is close to the all-time highs, people would drop messages. Should I buy this? Right? I remember, you know, Ether. We bought around 222 was the last buy for me. 89 towards 220 something. And as we were selling towards 2000, 3000, people were like, why are you selling here? It's about to go up. Should I buy? And I'm like, okay, it's your choice, but the price has went up massively. So if you are here now in this market, consider yourself extremely lucky, extremely lucky. Because not all of these asset class inside, asset segments inside crypto has actually popped, which leaves you with a lot of room to the upside. So now you're looking at the macro and you're like, okay, the macro kind of shows you the fact that you're just starting to the upside. One by one, you can go through them and get the macro understanding. Say you go on XLM, you're looking at the monthly and it's like a little bit of nice here, but then you see there's a long way to the upside. Look at that monthly volume. 
something is changing. You go on a weekly and the weekly is trying to cross back to the upside on the positive territory. So you need a just spark, a normal micro breakout would actually lead the price into the overbought territory. And as soon as the four hour enters the overbought territory, you should see something happening here, at least something starting. And then on a daily, as we enter the overbought territory, it's gonna be fun riding the payment assets. But right now in the market, it's not the payment assets which is stealing the show, it is different segments. Say GRT is still running up, slowly grinding higher. You actually saw Say doing something, right? These are the assets in the market. If you do list them in different segments, you get an idea like, okay, Bitcoin is actually running up. It is showing you different signals. You can use them to your benefit. That's why when we go through all of this, breaking these down, you get to have the advantage in the market. So if you want to join the SI family, with 910 plus members are taking benefit. You can look at the link in the description below in YouTube or in the bio if you're watching the same video on Twitter. Now, jumping back into the macro, you know, keep one thing which is super important. You're just focusing on the price action. Mm -hmm. Your key is price action here. If you do see a daily close, yes, it's going to take 24 hours from here. But if you do get a daily close above this range, which means the price action want to go to the upside. And usually what happens here in these kind of scenario is that when the price breaks through that, before the daily close, there is a burst. That's a good thing. The price can go up to like 46, 47, 48 thousand dollars and then slow down there. It's okay. That's where the altcoins will catch up. So you have always seen these kind of things or else in the recent past, we have seen something like this. It actually shows you now I'm getting a fake out. Then it stays there for a couple of days and then bursts through, boom. So those who went short at resistance, which is the normal thing which you do, got liquidated. Why? Right? That's a big question. Why though? Right? They did the right thing. Because the trend was not on your favor and a higher time frame structure was always showing you don't do that here. If you are a bear in this market, this is a bad market for you to be a bear. Right? There would be different individuals giving you different thought process. For sure, this world has unique characteristics. Everyone will have different thought process. But in a year or two, we'll understand like, you know, what's going to uh, be the reality. So here, when you do look at the market, you're like, okay, Bitcoin is controlling the market. We focus on that. Then we go look at all these assets are pricing against dollar. If dollar itself is dropping like this, that's something to watch for because say for example if you see dollar getting open here and going down that means crypto has a lot of room to the upside when crypto is running up you will see a lot of news media attention everything coming in and while we run up you'll see a lot of manipulations just as we just saw yesterday in trb we had the call out around 600 to saying you know get out this doesn't look good from that 607, it dropped to like 180 or something very quickly, like two or three hours. So the market is highly manipulated. Or in other words, whales, they do things based on their textbook, which is not the normal consensus out there. That's why these kind of things actually happen in the market. But then you actually look at this. Okay, that makes a lot of sense to say that any assets which are priced against dollar is going to do much better. So that's general update. Then you're watching like, okay, this is happening. More attention is slowly getting onto it, right? Bitcoin is blasting to its highest price point in 20 months. And, you know, you actually see this, right? And then it's like, oh, do a little bit before uh, another update here. So these are guys who are actually focusing on the stock market, the commodities, almost all the financial stuffs, right? And they are all giving you this idea that Bitcoin is going up. So this kind of attains a lot more attention in the market. So a lot of people watch this. Then you're watching these big guys pushing the narrative out there, the macro bull of Bitcoin, that kind of things. As soon as these guys are becoming like, you know, the biggest investors of all time by being heavy on crypto, Bitcoin for this, uh, these two, you'll actually see a lot of others trying to enter the same market. For the same reason, right? For the same reason, because we are watching a lot of these happening. 
and I can actually feel that as a YouTube host or a Patreon host, I can see those. So for example, we open a few tiers here when people actually ask, like, uh, open it to the maximum, maximum saving which Patreon allows, like 16%, so annually I actually put that. Then I open a few tiers and I'm like, okay, that's getting closed very, very quickly, like, I open a few spots actually, but all of them are getting sold out so quickly and it's just me at the other end. So it's now getting so hard to manage through all the DMs, all the one-on-one -on -one sessions. So we are trying to limit the newcomers, but as soon as you have an opportunity, use that. In three to five months, you don't have to regret your decisions because decisions, sometimes it's really easy to make, but the consequences, you have to live with it. Right? And when the market is showing you it can do a 5, 10, 15, 20x, depending on which segment of the assets you are in or if you are properly positioned in all of these different segments and you get the average, say, a 25, 30x move from here. That's a big deal. If the market is doing 40 and you're still good with 30, that's like your risk is not super high. You don't have to screw a lot of different assets to get there. You can be conservative, you can learn through it, you can position yourself well. And if you need help, SI family is always there. You can reach out using the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. So guys, I hope this year is going to be the profit-taking year for all those people who have been buying, accumulating through this. So they've packed their bags, now they're prepared, they're about to ride these waves and they're about to take these profits. Now, with that being said, you know, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, I would request, please consider doing that. Smash or obliterate that like button. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.